Curse of God here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Double May Cry 2. This is Mission 2. I'll go ahead and load my game. Here we go. Alright, let's see here. I really like that loading screen right there. Really cool loading screen. I guess about that and drink up some water. It sure took him a while to find this place. Oh, you have arrived, son of Sparta. You knew him? Oh, yes. We are the guardians of this land, the Dumali. Our clan once fought against the demons with Sparta, son of Sparta. We must ask this favor of you. You see, there's a man who's transformed our land into a demon's paradise. His name is Arius. And although he is the president of an international public corporation, he uses the demon power. Please, deal with Arius and his master for us. Looks like it's your lucky day. Sorry, and the whole Wonderful. coin thing, I... I am very pleased. It leads to a harbor. If you are successful, I will tell you a story about your father, son of Sparta. Never really got behind the whole coin flip thing. Like it's not, it's not bad, but all right. The aerial heart will give the hunter the chance to reach the skies. All right, let's see here. All right, here we go. First upgrades. There we go. All right, here we go. Let's start mission two. This is the first area in the game where. You notice it might get a little, like, hard to see. Alright. some more orbs. Oh god. Alright. Alright, so this is the first sort of red orb fountain. You attack it and you get red orbs. Alright. You know, I'm sorry if it like genuinely gets hard to see. If it's hard for you guys to see, it's also hard for me to see. Here we go. 
All right, so this room is sort of like the first sort of like puzzle of the game, and I have actually no idea how it works. Um, let me see here if I can light a blue flame, and then the way will be opened. Okay. So what you gotta do is you gotta stand in the middle, and then I guess you have to attack one of these things, or I guess you have to find the right one in an area, and then they'll go down, and then they'll rise again. I have... I have, like, once again, I have, like, no idea how it works. Also, Tasteless Capcom. A friggin' Schwastika one. Once again, no idea how this works, like, at all. Well, let me come here and try this one, then. Once again, like, I, ha I don't know how this works. I really don't. Alright, there we go. Jeez, I guess, I don't know, I, like, something about, like, making all the torches up there blue. Or something like that. It's hard to try to explain a puzzle in a game whenever you have, like, genuinely no idea how to solve it. for me to have to shoot. Other side of the wall. Hold on. Oh, there's one of them. all of them. Yep, there we go. Alright, so these statues, you basically just use them and you can, like, level up your stuff if you have enough of the currency. for it. Okay. Learn to read numbers, Cage. You'll learn what numbers are. Oh, wait. I gotta go and press another switch. <laughs> Sorry. Trying to progress to an area that I'm not ready to progress to yet. So now we gotta go this way. Oh, God. Hello. How are you?
I think I might be poisoned. Oh, no, there we go. Alright, here we go. Now, the way the combos in this game work, it's not like the other Double May Cry games where, you know, you'll do like, for like for example, I believe in, uh, I think it's DMC Double May Cry. You have a combo that's like, attack, attack, wait about like two seconds and then, that's like you press attack again. Oh, that's right, these enemies regenerate. Alright, there we go. Give me my orbs. Thank you. Also, no, there's tons of areas in this game where you don't even, like, have to fight the enemies. You can just run past them. But the thing, if you do that, you don't get red orbs to upgrade with, you know? So it's like, what's the point? Anyways, I think this is the last room in the chapter, or in the mission. Alright, where is the person that's throwing stuff? Now I got these things, the goat demons. <laughs> Alright, another demon you have to shoot down because he will not come down. Yep, just press square. There we are. Give me. Give me the, the stuff. Alright. Aerial hearts. Basically, whenever you're in double trigger, if you have the aerial heart equipped, you can fly, but you have to be in a double trigger form. Now, this right here, this thing refills your double trigger. Now, obviously, you're thinking, how do I get out of here? Alright, so jump up here, double trigger, and then you fly. Pretty much. Oh, wait a minute, let me, uh. There we go. And that is mission two. So what I'll do is I'll save my game. And that will be it for this part. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.